Hello all, this video is demo on RF based 4 channel wireless remote TS434. Other models available are single channel 2, 4, 8 and up to 16 channels available. The operating frequency is 433 MHz and uh, operating range is around 100 to 150 feet even without line of sight. The operating voltage is DC 12 volt. It requires uh, at least 12 volt 1 ampere for proper operation DC voltage. All uh, connections are brought out at these green terminals. Each relay has got uh, three terminals, common, NO and NC. All these are uh, brought out at these green terminals. So four relays are uh, in this model, A, B, C and D. Related to this uh, button from the transmitter remote, the relay proper relay will operate. This is the receiver, RF433 MHz receiver with the crystal. This is the antenna for the receiver, 433 MHz, that is 17 cm long copper wire turned to a coil. Do not extend or pull out this wire as it will affect the range of the receiver. At the top there are 4 pins, this is the jumper setting for mode selection. 3 modes are possible, toggle, latch and momentary, all these 3 modes we will see in this demo. At the bottom there is a program switch, uh, this is used to pair any new remote with the board. This is the remote for this 434 uh, receiver. It has got four buttons A, B, C and D and a long antenna, pull, uh, pull out antenna. Let us open this uh, transmitter remote. Inside you can see a battery. Battery used is alkaline battery. Model is 23A 12 volt. As it is alkaline it will even last for uh, more than a year. And there is a PCB board. At the front side you can see the four buttons and LED and one IC is there, this is the encoder IC when you press uh, button A, B, or C or D and the recorded signal will be encoded and uh, transmitted at uh, 433 MHz at the receiver board it will be received by the receiver let us open the uh, receiver at the back, back of the receiver there are two ICs one is the uh, decoder IC that is a signal received from the remote will be decoded by this IC and a relay driver IC to drive the uh, relays. The board requires a DC supply of 12 volt. So there is a terminal for uh, this uh, 12 volt and uh, ground green terminal. Let us provide an adapter like this 12 volt 1 ampere I am using. As each relay consumes uh, 50 to 60 milliamps. 12 volt 1 ampere is enough for this. Let us connect the red wire to plus 12 volt and uh, black wire to ground. If you reverse the wires, reverse protection is there on the board. Let us provide the DC supply and uh, note the LEDs. At the top there are two LEDs. Blue LED is uh, power indication and red LED is signal indication. When you press the button on the remote, the red LED will blink on the receiver. There is also a, an LED on the remote also. So if you press a button, the LED will glow on the remote and uh, the signal LED on the receiver will respond accordingly. At the bottom there is a program button. Let us see how to pair more than one remotes with a single board. By default one remote is uh, programmed with the board. Let us see how to pair more than one remotes. Before that, let us uh, make a small uh, demo connection with four LED loads for easy understanding. The small, small leads of all the LEDs are connected to the ground. All the small leads, four LEDs I am using for each relay and long lead is connected through a resistor and the signal will come from NO points of the uh, relays. 12 volt is looped to all the common points. Each relay has got three uh, terminals. One is the pole, center one is the pole. NC is normally connected, that we are not using. NO is the normally open. Always connect load to NO. So pole is connected to 12 volt. All the uh, poles, that is the common pins are looped and then connected to 12 volt. And the first uh, NO, that is a A relay NO is connected to the red LED through a resistor same way B 
is uh, B relay NO is connected to second, C relay to third and the fourth relay to the uh, yellow LED. The default jumper position is at uh, 3 and 4. At the top there is a jumper settings 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 3 and 4 is the uh, toggle mode. Now let us provide the DC and uh, test the remote. While well, pressing the A, the A relay that will on and the red LED will glow. Same way B is uh, green, C is uh, blue and uh, D is uh, yellow. So this is the toggle mode. That is when you press the remote, uh, press a button, A button, LED will on. The LED will remain uh, on till you press the button again. So this is the toggle mode. This is set by this jumper. By default, the jumper position is at 3 and 4. Now let us uh, learn the jumper positions. There are uh, 4 pins, 1, 2, 3, 4. And by default, the jumper is at 3 and 4. This is the toggle mode. This is the default mode, uh, toggle, that is when you press a button, it will uh, remain hold till you press the button again. This is toggle mode and the next mode is uh, 1 and 2. If you provide the jumper at 1 and 2, this is latch mode. In this latch mode, at a single time, any one relay will be on. Suppose you press uh, button A, A relay will be on. The next button, if you press B, the A will go off and B will be on and the third setting is no jumper when you uh, when there is no jumper it is momentary so these are the three modes toggle mode latch mode and then uh, momentary mode the toggle mode operation already we have tested now let us see the next uh, mode that is the latch mode uh, put the jumper from uh, 3 and 4 to 1 and 2 remove the jumper from 3 and 4 and place it on 1 and 2 now it is in latch mode let us touch the latch mode always uh, while replacing the jumper provide the uh, that is reset the power now when you press uh, a button the first relay will go on and the red relay will be on if you press a again nothing will happen now if you press b the second relay will be on and first will relay will go off now third one so other relays will be off and the third will be on fourth d d relay will be on others will be off so at a given time only one relay will be on that will go in cycle mode and at uh, any given time yeah one only one relay will be on this is the latch mode now let us uh, test the third mode which is the uh, momentary mode that is no jumper remove the jumper no jumper set 1, 2, 3, 4 and reset the power. Now when you press the button, A button, relay will be on. The relay will be on as long as you hold the button. When you uh, remove the finger, the relay will be off. So this is the momentary operation. Till you hold on the button, remote button, the relay will be on. This is momentary. So we have tested all the three modes. Uh, that is the default mode is 3 and 4, toggle and uh, latch mode and momentary mode if you see the connections the pin 1 and 3 are the signal pins and 2 and 4 are connected to ground when you put the jumper at 3 and 4 the pin 3 is getting ground that is uh, pin 3 is signal it is get, uh, getting ground now and it goes to toggle mode and when you put the jumper at 1 and 2 the pin 1 is getting ground so by mistake if you put the jumper at 2 and 3 suppose you are putting the jumper at 2 and 3 the pin 3 will uh, get ground from pin 2 so it will act as toggle that is it will act as 3 and 4 next we will see the function of this program button the black program button uh, if you press and hold the program button for more than one minute that is till that uh, red LED goes off you press and hold the uh, program button as soon as the LED goes off the board uh, enters the sleep mode now in the sleep mode when you press the remote nothing will happen so the board has gone into sleep mode to, to wake up this board again press the program button momentarily just press the uh, program button it will wake up 
now the relay will relays will operate so this is the sleep mode uh, entering sleep mode using the program button next we'll see uh, the how to pair the more than one remote with the uh, receiver using this program button the first remote is uh, already paired now let us see how to pair the second button for this press the uh, program button eight times one two three four five six seven eight so as soon as you press the uh, button eight times it will enter the program button now enter press any button on the new remote now the new remote is paired with the board the two remotes are paired now already one remote is uh, paired now we have paired the second remote both the remotes will operate let us see how to add another that is the third remote press the program button eight times one two three four five six seven and eight the board has entered into program mode now press any button on the third remote the led signal led will blink and the third remote has been paired now you can control a single board with all these three remotes so this is how to set the multiple remotes with a single board next we'll see how to pair a single remote with two receivers before that let us see the connection uh, to how to connect the load first we'll connect the dc load then we'll check for the ac load in the second board provide the dc supply uh, plus one that is 12 volt and uh, black one to ground uh, let us use the c relay that is a c relay for this uh, demo connection we are going to provide led that is a dc load there are three connections for each relay center one is the common and the no is normally open and the nc is normally closed generally we are not using nc to common point always is connected to the supply that is uh, 12 volt we are using dc load so connect dc to 12 volt uh, common and the load is connected to no as you are using led load connect the positive lead to no and the negative lead of the led through a resistor to ground to common we are connecting the 12 volt that is the pole is connected to 12 volt so when the relay operates the pole will change from nc to no so 12 volt is applied from pole to no and it will uh, reach the led and the through resistor uh, to ground let us do the connection that is a common point that is loop to 12 volt and no is connected to load no point is connected to uh, let us use a blue led another blue led long lead is connected to the no point and the short lead is connected through a resistor to ground so this is the dc load like this you can give any dc load or 12 volt dc fan and 12 volt heater or any load you can provide now provide the dc supply to the new board so the new board is paired with the uh, provided remote let us pair this remote with the both the boards so to the first board press the program button eight times one two three four five six seven and eight it has entered the programming mode press any button on the remote the signal led will blink and it is paired now now uh, let us program it for the second board press uh, program button eight times and it will enter the program mode press the button it will work for both the boards now the single remote is paired with the both the boards so this is how to pair a single remote with multiple boards finally we'll see how to connect ac load so let us provide the dc connection to the uh, new board and uh, let us use the c relay for connecting the ac load uh, three contacts are there three terminals that is the center one is the pole common and we are using the no that is a normally open to connect the load to pole we are connecting the phase of the ac and the no is connected to one end of the bulb and the other end of the bulb is connected to neutral so when the relay operates the phase is uh, passed on to the load and finally to the neutral 
let us use a two pin main scout like this this two pin main scout has got a face wire and a neutral wire the red one face wire is connected to the pole and the other one that this uh, neutral wire is connected to one end of the load one wire is connected to one end of the load that is a AC bulb and the other end of the load is connected to NO so always connect load to normally open contact of the relay NC is not used NO connect the load to NO so any open end of the wires uh, insulate with proper insulation tape so always be careful while using AC loads so this is the connection we have done uh, pole is connected to face and uh, NO is connected to load you can interface the face in neutral also let us provide the DC supply first 12 volt DC supply and then provide the AC supply 2 pin mains curve once you provide the AC supply to the board never touch the board so as it is always dangerous to handle high voltage take precaution now let us press the C button the load is connected to the C relay now the relay is operating and AC load is on and off using the remote RF. Thank you for watching.